Holy crap, I have a fanboy. I will leave you for last, good sir, because you got on my good side. <laughs> Can't show any mercy, though. I made a promise to a flaming dumpster, but what's your problem, son? You got something against me? Is it because I got to the earth before you? You thought you were gonna be the one to fry this dump? What's up guys, welcome to Rain on Your Parade, a game where I get to be anything from a happy little cloud at the end of a rainbow to a torrential storm that violently drowns humanity. And if you've seen any of my videos before, then you already know, it's probably gonna be more of the latter. Grandpa, Grandpa, tell me a story. Oh, a story? Uh, hmm, have I told you about the cloud I met once? That sounds boring. <laughs> oh, trust me, clouds are never boring. It tried to wipe out all of life. A cloud can fly anywhere it wants. It can rain on anything. Um, oh, when you grow up, you'll understand the joy of messing up other people's stuff. All right, so what's this cloud do? Let me put my glasses on. Friggin' clouds took my sight in the war. Once upon a time, there was a small cloud with the big dream. The complete and total extinction of the human race. It was crazy. To find a place of old folks' tales where clouds can roam free. Just look at how they roam around in the sky like they own the place. Just crapping on anyone and raining on anything they want at any time. Telling you it was like a Michael Bublé concert, just not a dry pair of panties to be seen. So it packed its bags, whatever bags a cloud might have, and set on a world-trotting journey of destruction and pain to find the mystical, the fabled, the legendary Seattle. Ground zero for the end. Leave it to clouds to think the best place to start a planetary assault is a wedding in Seattle. <laughs> so it looks like I need to soak bride and grooms, as well as soak all humans. <laughs> there will not be a dry human left once I'm done. Well, if I'm going to be conquering these lands, then the first thing I plan to do is reenact Prima Nocta. And as such, I will be the one who makes the bride wet on her wedding day. Guys, it was just a light sun shower. <laughs> Look what you did to the venue. That wasn't me. I, I'm just floating here, proud of the mayhem I can accomplish with a single squirt. It looks like I've got a limited amount of liquids, so I might want to focus on the people who aren't running around like friggin' lunatics. <laughs> and I could also gently spray each of them since I need to get all 24 guests. I don't want to accidentally miss and waste some water on the grass. Is anyone else concerned with the fact that the front lawn of this church is actually paper towel? <laughs> no wonder you idiots never stood a chance against the cloud uprising. Ah, oh, crap. I probably should have been paying attention to what the groom looked like. You know, all these pathetic little humans look the exact same. I don't think he would wear red to his wedding, no. I mean, in all reality, I need to soak all of them, so eventually I'm gonna find my target. There we go. I think the only one left is the priest running the place. He's probably seen this a million times before. It's just another wedding. Now, I know what some of you guys are probably thinking. They're fine, you know, they're just a little moist, but trust me, it begins with dampness. It ends with water world. Oh my god, this is absolutely adorable. No wonder I want to wipe it out. <laughs> yeah, let's go piss on Greggy's dogs. Cloudy, Cloudy, help! <laughs> Dumpy, what have they done to you? I might just be a dumpster, but these humans keep setting me on fire. That's why I've been saying for years that they deserve no mercy. You would never listen. <laughs> Can you please put out all the fires and teach them a lesson? I mean, no promises. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll try to put out all the fires, but it's really hard to teach humans anything. Especially when they're dead. In return, I promise to take some cool photos of you in action with the photo mode. Oh. 
Okay, uh, I wouldn't have really expected a dumpster to have an eye for photography. Or an eye in general, I suppose. <laughs> Check out the prompt on your screen when it appears. Yeah, I'll, I'll be sure to do that, Dumpy. But first, I gotta put out all the fires and soak all humans. Can I let them burn a little bit first? That'd teach them. This might actually be harder than I expected because it turns out dumpster fire spreads. No, now is not the time for photo mode, Dumpy. Or it is. Okay, then I guess we'll just go ahead and snap a photo for the old autobiography. I look like the cloud version of the everything is fine meme. I know I joked about leaving them to burn earlier, but I do have a limited amount of water and it can't get any worse than this. <laughs> so maybe it'll just burn itself out. We will put Dumpy out though, okay? I I'm sorry to leave you waiting, bud. Hold on, there we go. Now we're happy. <laughs> I guess I could work my way out from there. Oh yeah, it's actually working. Here we go, we'll put out this truck and put this out and I think we might be good, yeah. <laughs> Plenty of water left to soak, you idiots. Not a single one of you were useful. You couldn't go and get a fire extinguisher or a hose, a, a blanket or, or just pee on it. That's what I do. <laughs> Easy enough. I think I'm unlocking cloud hats as I accomplish these goals. I, I was kind of hoping for war medals, but sure. I was so busy putting out the dumpster fire that I never got to see Greggy's dogs. That's disappointing. What have we got over here? Oh, oh, who's that I see? A young cloud? Who am I? Why, I'm Papa Cloud, a cloud as old as time. Yes, I was there when the first memes were invented. Oh, good for you. <laughs> Who wasn't? You're making me feel old. Oh, those silly badgers. I hope you will listen to my words of wisdom. As you progress through the world, you might unlock some fancy hats. Yeah, I noticed. Could I get war medals, like a, a, a purple heart or a green kidney? I don't know, colorful organs? It doesn't really matter. How does a cloud wear a hat, you might wonder? Why, simply by entering the cloud house. Go on, give it a try. The clouds? house uh okay what where the hell are we now like, I, I know we're in the cloud house in captain sauce's homely abode but where is that like i just assume the clouds lived in the sky not in a cushy mid-century home uh looks like i can check out the photos i've been taking put on some hats that i've been earning face Whatever face means, can I change? I can change my face. Oh my God, I've already got the perfect idea. I gotta be honest with you guys right now, spending half an hour drawing this with classical music blasting in the background has been life changing. I just can't wait to see the final result. <laughs> oh, it's awful and I love it. <laughs> Oh man, I was kind of hoping Big Daddy Cloud would still be here to tell me how I look. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to go and crap on a CSGO match? At least it looks like none of my friends are on fire here, so that's a good start. I need to protect the bomb. Help it go boom boom. Wait, I was being sarcastic. Is this actually a level of CSGO? Well, I'll be damned, it actually is. Okay, well, uh, fortunately, I've got wall hacks, which means I can see you coming, and I've got no clips, so I can fly over the walls. <laughs> you guys can absolutely suck it. I am gonna have a really hard time taking my cloud seriously from here on out, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> I think this is supposed to be a hard level. I had a little warning saying, if this is too difficult, you can just quit whenever you want. I'm no quitter, okay? If anything, I'll, I'll start spamming. I'll just spray and pray. Okay, hey, 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 not like that. Maybe I'll just stick around the bomb. You know what, they can't walk through me. So if I just chill out here, I don't need to beat them to the punch. Yeah, how do you guys possibly hope to make this work? There's no way you're gonna be able to outpower me. I'm a freaking cloud. What are you gonna shoot me down? <laughs> this isn't difficult at all. If that bomb could go off like any day now, that'd be great. Though, was that what I wanted? That's what I wanted. <laughs> what a clever level. 
I know I've still got a great big world full of people to drip on, but I'm kind of curious, if I head out into the ocean, can I absorb some of this water? No, I can only give water. I need to get bigger and stronger. There has to be a way of upgrading my cloud. <laughs> Maybe if we head down to the beach, somebody will have an idea? Well, it looks like a pretty standard attack. I just need to soak all humans and avoid the sun. Is the sun mad at me? Oh, uh, hi! Uh, big fan of your work, you know, killing Mario and stuff, but could you maybe piss off? Holy crap, I have a fanboy! I will leave you for last, good sir, because you got on my good side. <laughs> Can't show any mercy, though. I made a promise to a flaming dumpster, but... What's your problem, son? You got something against me? Is it because I got to the earth before you? You thought you were going to be the one to fry this dump? Well, joke's on you. I am the fan favorite. <laughs> Go ahead and evaporate these nuts. Well, that was another successful battle, but still no cloud upgrades. Is it too much for me to be able to throw some thunder and lightning? If I head down to a park, there seems to be a whole bunch of metal stuff for me to strike. Cloudy, Cloudy, help! Those humans took away all the trees. You need to help us. Do I look like some kind of sky gardener to you? Oh, who am I? I am Froggy, of course. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous video game. Don't act like you don't know, Ribbit. Do I look like I play video games? I'm a cloud. I don't know if you realize what clouds do, but it's not play Frogger and plant trees. Hopping across a road, avoiding cars like there's no tomorrow, just frogging around. Okay, if you want my help, then don't hit me with frog puns. I was on my way back to my pond when I stumbled upon this desolate park. Please, grow us a beautiful garden, I beg you. But spare the children's, they don't know any better. Ribbit! Yeah, no promises, Froggy, okay? I kind of have a strict kill all humans policy. You can't get tried for war crimes if there are no witnesses. <laughs> So I need to grow a beautiful garden. Do not soak any humans and soak all lamps. I thought I was the one who was supposed to be raining on parades. Well, if the whiny frog with a washed up career is to be believed, I can apparently replenish my water now, which is good, I, I guess. I still don't see how that's gonna help me plant anything. I don't exactly have a green thumb. Nonetheless, hands. Okay. So it just needs a little bit of water. That's easy enough. I've got plenty of water until I run out, which would be a bad thing. Maybe because clouds are only water. I don't want to know what happens if I dry up. <laughs> I would rather not cease to exist. So we're going to knock out power to the lights and avoid the humans. Why do I get the feeling avoiding you guys is going to be an absolute painus in my anus? You're just wandering around aimlessly. We've got a dry fountain over here. Can I fill you up for a bonus objective? Yeah, okay. So let's focus on these lights. That way, maybe if I splash somebody by accident, no one will notice in the dark. It's the middle of the day. I don't even know why I'm bothering to do this. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now 75 trees. I don't know what 75 trees even looks like. I, I, I don't count them when I'm floating over heads. I just gotta be careful, I suppose. It's a lot easier said than done. Uh, we close? Maybe a couple over here and... Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, that was surprisingly difficult. If this game ramps up, I don't know what's gonna happen. I get the feeling this war might end sooner rather than later. It looks like after we ruin some kind of Amazon fulfillment facility, then we're gonna have a decision on our hands. Uh, proverbial hands, you know what I mean. Action or chill? And then it's the end. Oh, I should probably mention, this isn't even the full game. The game isn't even released yet. This is a demo. You lose track because it's really polished and there are a whole bunch of levels. Actually, you know what? I think I want to end things here because that's probably enough for another episode. So, you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Rain on Your Parade, guys. If you want to see more, then be sure to leave a like in the video. Leave a comment letting me know. I really enjoy the game. I wouldn't even mind checking out the full thing once it's released. But if this video gets a whole bunch of support, then maybe I'll return to 
rain on whatever the Christ that is. Let's be honest, drowning that thing would be doing it a favor. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.